guys, welcome back to today's video. I'm so excited because it is day five of Wet n Wild week and this one's gonna be a fun one. So if you saw day one, I went to Walgreens and I hauled a bunch of Wet n Wild products and the first thing I saw when I walked into the store was a fully stocked display of the new Wet n Wild fall collection. It is called Midnight Mermaid. So I got the whole collection and I am super excited to try these out on camera. It's a little sneak peek. You guys have probably been seeing these all over social media and I was so surprised that they had a whole display because I heard this wasn't supposed to be in stores until like the beginning of September. I'm really curious to see how these colors are going to look. They're pretty different and out there from anything I've tried before. Make sure you guys stay tuned till the end of this video because I have a really little fun giveaway for you guys. So if you're curious to see how the new Midnight Mermaid collection is and how it applies, what these shades look like, then just keep on watching. I'm going to show you guys right now. So I think I want to start out with the eye products. So in this collection, they have four of the metallic liquid eyeshadows and these are a part of the color icon line. And these shades are so cool. I really am so excited to see how they look when they're on the eye. So I'm not sure how I'm going to put them all on because there are four of them. Maybe I will pick two of my favorite ones and then swatch the other ones for you guys. Like on my hands, I'll do a close-up. I also wanted to let you guys know that you can get this whole collection in a box on the Wet n Wild website for $34.99. Or you can buy each of them individually if you just like one of the products. It says these are multi-dimensional liquid eyeshadows that transform any eye look. They dry down to a metallic matte finish and maintain your mermaid vibes all night long. And I just went ahead and put the contour shade from Dolce De Leche into my crease just so I could have a little bit of a transition shade in there. I've been using this as a transition shade all week. So there are four shades in the liquid metallic eyeshadows. The first one is Moonlight Majesty. And this one is like a purple and a green kind of duochrome. Definitely more purple. I think the purple reigns supreme in this one. And when the light hits it, you kind of see that green shade a little bit in there. The next shade is Mysterious Nights, and this is more like a blackened green shade with a little bit of silver in it. I like the wand on these. It's like a nice flat doe foot wand. This one is like a black with silver in it. Even though it looks a little bit green in the tube, I feel like it comes out basically more of like a black shade when you put it on. Next is a blue duochrome with a little bit of purple in it depending when the light hits it. And this one is called Aquatic Prism. Really, really cool color. I'm excited about this one. It really stood out to me. Yes, this is gorgeous. I have the window over here and when the light is hitting it, it's like reflecting so beautifully and the blue shimmer is just coming through. It's so pretty. The next liquid shadow is Lara's Necklace, such a cool name. And this one is more of like an emerald green shade. So let's do a swatch. Oh, that is so beautiful. I think the blue and the green ones are my favorite. So here are some swatches and of course you guys will see a close up so you can see it a little bit better. But there are some swatches on my arm right there and you really have to see it when the light hits it to get the full beauty of it. Let's try this one out. Ooh, this is so, so pretty. I have never worn a shadow like this before. Yeah, you can see like a little bit of green in there when you shift into the sunlight. I'm just wondering how I'm going to blend this out and make it actually look good. <laughs> what I will do is I'll take a little bit of this black one. I'm just playing here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to put this on the outer corner. Maybe. Ooh. You guys, this probably looks like bad, but I just want to see how the colors are. So it feels a little bit sticky when it's drying down, but I think it's just the nature of a cream shadow. It's going to have that feeling to it. And the eye does feel a little bit like tight and weird. But again, I just think that is the way that cream shadows are because they have to dry down on your lid. The thing with these is I just don't know how to make them look good because I feel like right now... <laughs> My eyes are like a mess. I want to try the green one. This is Lara's Necklace shade. These would look 
really cool over black like a cream black base Ooh, i have to try that oh so, so pretty i'm just trying to get it closer to my lash line i'm gonna try them all so i'm gonna do this one which is moonlight majesty it's really hard to read the names because it's black font and it's like a black colored shadow i wish the names were in like a white font outer v situation over here Ooh, this one is so cool it had that like purpley greenish duochrome to it but it's definitely more purple when you put it on the eye don't judge me you guys this look is cray cray Next up in the collection, there are three Mega Liners, and the shades are Sea Dreams, and I want to swatch this. This is a blue, and I like the cap. It has like a uh, black to blue ombre on it, which is pretty. Navy blue shade, so that is Sea Dream. Then we have Sea Symmetry, which is a green, and the brush on this one is a little bit wonky. It's like splayed out like this, so that's a little bit annoying there is the green really pretty i love that shade there is a gray i'm surprised i didn't do purple but i don't know i guess they wanted to do gray so this is like a slate kind of gray with like a blue undertone to it this brush too is a little bit wonky and just so you guys know, these retail for $3.99. So there is that gray, slate gray, like bluish color. I'm going to do Sea Symmetry, which is the green one. This should be interesting. Ooh, that is pretty. Ooh, you guys, this is really pretty. And I mean, you don't have to wear this with these glitter shadows. You could just wear it. Um, with like a more neutral eye. I think that would be really cool. This blue one right here. Oh, I didn't tell you guys the name. This is Sea, sea Dreams. I feel like I'm not getting as much product. Maybe because I cut the brush. Let's see. No pun intended. Blue is really nice too. I think the green one is more like mermaidy to me. The blue one, I don't think I love it as much. For the gray one, this is Trident Shimmer. That's a really cool name. I'm just gonna put this right on top of the green because why not? We already look interesting. It just doesn't really speak mermaid to me, but I see what they were going for. I say the green one, C Symmetry, is my favorite one, and I think it is the most beautiful one out of the liners. Next up in the collection are four of the Megales Liquid Cat Suit shades. So the first one we have here is C Seduction. I love that name. And this is a blue shimmer. I'm so curious to see this on my lips. I've never worn a blue lipstick before. So there it is. It's a little bit more subdued than I thought. It's more of like a navy, not like a bright in your face like electric blue. And there's a green. This is called Siren's Jewel. I love all of these names. This is like an emerald green. So pretty. Then we have this like coppery shade. This is Coral Crown. So Coral Crush is like such a cool, unique shade. I don't own anything like that then the last shade is called harbor a crush love that name big ups to whoever is naming the products at wet and wild you are awesome so there is harbor a crush um it's like a deep wine shade i mean yeah it's definitely metallic but i can still think it could be wearable line my lips first with it Oh my gosh, that is, that is cool. This is Sea Seduction. I really like it. To do a coral crown, this is that really cool like coppery shade.
Okay, I didn't do a very good job of applying it, but here is Coral Crown. This one I actually think I could wear um, like in public and maybe get away with it. Next, I'm going to do Harbor a Crush. this one is awesome and i think it looks really good with the eye look something about this one is like super vampy and just like that tiny bit of metallic to it i think is so cool it almost is like violet like a violet kind of red and i think it's awesome i really do i love this one i would totally wear this one in the fall i think it is the perfect vampy fall shade i'm the most excited for this one that's why i saved it for last it is siren's jewel How stinking cool is this one? So this is Siren's Jewel. I'm obsessed. I feel like a freaking cool mermaid right now. I love it. I feel like this also goes well with the blue and the green eyeshadow shades. And I need to figure out where I can wear this one too because I need to wear this again immediately because it's so cool. I'm so into these like really fun colors just because it's so different from what I normally wear. And I think if I ever had to wear a green lipstick this would be the one i would pick i thought i was going to hate the weird shades but i actually really ended up loving them i think they're really fun the last thing we have in the collection is probably the item that most people had their eye on when they first saw this collection because we all know wet n wild highlighters are like the best at the drugstore this is the mermaid highlighting bar in mermaid moon and it has this really gorgeous design imprinted on the actual product really a mermaid tail it is like the coolest looking highlighter i've ever seen so you guys know i was curious about the size and the weight of this so in the mermaid and moon highlighter you get 0.30 ounces and in a regular wet n wild mega glow highlighter you get 0.19 ounces so you're actually getting more inside of the mermaid highlighter i don't know if i said this already but this retails for 6.99 on the wet n wild website Just looking at this it looks like it has a yellowy goldish kind of shift to it I'm really curious to apply this on the face. I've seen some people apply it on YouTube videos and it looks a little bit like gray. So I want to see how I feel about it when I apply it onto the skin. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Unicorn Highlighting Brush. I love this thing. I've been using it all week and it's perfect for highlighting. Ooh, definitely mermaidy for sure. Oh my god, it's so cool. It's so cool. I think it's awesome. You can see the yellow bit to it. And then when you turn back this way, you can see it's kind of gray, which I know is kind of unique for a highlighter. But with this collection, I actually think it works because everything in this collection is really kind of offbeat, different. And I think that this actually goes well with the whole mermaid theme. And it does remind me of like a highlight a mermaid would wear. Let's do this cheek. Yeah, so straight on, you can see it has like that gray, bluish undertone to it. But when you go like that, you can see the yellow to it. So it's kind of like this really cool transformational highlighter. You can get two different looks out of it. So different. And I think Wet n Wild did an awesome job putting this collection together. One of the most unique collections I've actually seen, especially for the drugstore. I don't think anyone's come out with anything like this. And I think they took kind of a, a risk with it to do something different. And I personally love it. And I think it totally paid off i'm very into all the colors in this collection i honestly didn't think i would be i thought i was going to hate this highlighter i thought i was going to hate the lipsticks but i actually love them i love how different they are and i love that you could step out of your comfort zone with this collection without paying a lot of money to do it so you normally probably wouldn't spend like 20 bucks on a green lipstick but you can spend five dollars on it and feel okay about it all right guys so this is the completed look using the midnight mermaid collection i'm really happy i ended with the green one because I'm just obsessed with it. I think it is awesome and I feel just like really cool right now. <laughs> Honestly, I really, really love this collection. I think it is so unique, so different, like I've been saying throughout the whole video. And if I had to pick my favorite things, I would say the green lipstick that I'm wearing in Siren's Jewel, the green liner in C Symmetry. Loved the green liquid eyeshadow in Lars necklace that I have on this eye. Blue in Aquatic Prism is insane and you definitely need this one if you need to pick one get the blue one because it's awesome um if i had to pick a least favorite thing i would say 
Trident's Shimmer the Gray Liner. I see you could skip on that one. Another one you can skip on is Majestic Nights. It's that kind of black with a silver shimmer. If you had to leave one, I would say leave this one because it's just a black. It's a little bit basic for this collection that's like super fun and cool so yeah those are the two things I would say to skip out on but everything else I think is awesome I love the highlighting bar I think it is so so cool I really do so unique so different if you like different things and unique type of collections and colors then you will love this but what you could win you are going to get the midnight moon highlighter that I love and that I'm wearing on my cheeks right now you are also going to get the liquid cat suit lipstick in coral crown and you are going to get the liquid eyeshadow in Moonlight Majesty. And that is that purpley shade that I have on this outer corner of my eye. So gorgeous. So if you guys want to win these items from the Midnight Mermaid collection from Wet n Wild, then just enter down below. It'll be the first link down in my description box. You guys know the drill. All you have to do is enter in that link below. All the information will be down there to enter. So I hope you guys liked Wet n Wild week day five. And if you like the Midnight Mermaid collection, give this video a thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. And you can't enter the giveaway if you don't subscribe. So make sure you subscribe. Turn on your notification bells down below so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. Today's notification squad shout out goes to Lalane Bravanti. Hopefully I said your name right. I will put your message right here. Thank you so much for having the notification bell turn on. Hopefully I will post a Wet n Wild day six. I could power through. I could do it. Try and post day six tomorrow for you guys. Maybe I will do the Wet n Wild brushes video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.